Hello, Nobles and the Frenchels. It's Dalb. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I'll be serving you Glissopod. Both Glissopods, the regular and the GX one. The GX one is quite popular. You probably know about it. It's everywhere. It's good. But this one is also good. In fact, it has more damage potential. You can chain KO GX Pokemons with this card and not this card. So, well, he's like, well I, I know my baby version is stronger, but I've got more hit points. I'm faster. I can only take one energies. Good. You're both are useful. Why don't we just put you both in one deck, power you up through Laurentis, so you both can get one-shot kills. Ah. Uh -huh. Wait, one-shot kills and GXs? These guys? Yep. And these guys? Yep, four prize cards down, six. You have a very dangerous deck in your hands with this. So I want to explain to you... Why are you just clicking stuff? I want to explain to you how this Glissopod updated version works. To the Crimson Invasion era. And you're going to see it in how many matches? Three this time. They are three some kind of matches. Probably awesome. Okay, so let us get started. Today's intro is going to be my remix of Save Tonight from by Eagle Cherry. All right, now, Glissopod, let us, you know, let's quickly break you down. Glissopod, you need to know about this. Well, maybe not this guy. He's a little bit forgotten. 130 hit points for Stage 1. Yeah, this is pretty good for a normal Stage 1. Take a look at Lorontis, also Stage 1. Less hit points. Basic, 120. Oh my gosh, you actually have more hit points than Banana Master? Go you! And it's like, hey, I actually have more than that. Look at this, armor. It takes 30 less damage from attacks. So you need to do 160 to get this in a single hit. Now you have to do 170 to get a Coconut Master. And, well, Co that's pretty much a basic GX. You cannot use Choice Ban against Glissopot because it's not a GX. So he is likely, very, very likely going to last two turns. That is very, very good. He's practically a GX card that's worth one prize card. And look at his damage right here. Resolute Claws. It's... Oh, look at this easy energy cost. One red grass energy, one double colors energy, two turns. He can he can find pretty much turn two if you go first, and it does 150 against GX Pokemon. 80 plus 70, if they're GX, is 150. Add in the choice man 180. Now you can one-shot this card. Oh yeah, you can chain one-shot basic GX Pokemon without any little help. Now, with help with these Lorantis Cheerleaders guide here, Sunny Day, every Grass Pokemon gets 20 more damage with all their attacks. So, this with two of them. I have three of them in my deck, but I want only two set up. So, that's 40 damage moves on top of the Choice Man, which is 70 damage moves. On top of this 150, so all the math, it's 220. Now you can chain one shot Glissopods, and he can't do that to you back. He can absolutely not one shot you. So, you know, without by himself. There's no. Well, we need some help. We get it. He can't do it by himself. Glissopods! So, oh, this actually has much more firepower. And it's reasonably tanky. But we do have the GX version as well, because, well, he does have a little. It's advantages. It's a little bit tougher. It has 210 hit points, so yeah, that's that's pretty tough. These yeah, it's gonna survive two hits most of the times, unless you're going against the baby Glissopod that's charged up. Ha! But he has a one energy attack that's fast. First impression: if you switch him from the bench during your turn, say with a with a uh, Guzma, or just by retreating with a Floatstone of some sorts, or even using a Cerola, which I'm sure you're familiar with this combo, you can do 120 damage for a single hit. Now with a choice, man, that is 150 damage for a single hit against a GX. Now with every Laurentis you got, that's 20 more. Now with your very first attack, you can one-shot other GX Pokemons, especially the basic ones, like Okuda Master. You just only need one Laurentis, one choice, man, one-shot KO. Oh yeah, one for one single energy. And because it only costs one energy, you can also use a Cerola, pick up the card again, which counts as a retreat and max potion that fully heals your Pokemon once you picks up those damage counters do not carry all right so that's why he's good he's tanky but he's able to heal himself unlike that other Galissopod and he actually is he's the only guy that has the GX attack which is straight 150 choice band 180 
with all these little buildings here, he'll be able to one-shot another Galissopod GX or other GX Pokemon. And it switches him safely back to the bench where you can hide or swap in for another first impression. He's good! And we kind of skipped this middle attack. Armor press, 100 damage. That's a two-shot. Actually has less damage than, hey, the first one. It does shield himself 20, so he goes up to 200, you know, 30 hit points for that single turn. If, yeah, because he's shielding himself. Kind of similar to this attack. You don't really uh, think it makes a difference, but it, it it does. It does. Certain Sometimes that 20 damage can't keep you alive. But the damage, the one shot, is where you're trying to focus on this deck. Because with Laurentis, almost every of Glissopod's attacks can get one shot. So one shot, they make all the difference in the world against GX Pokemons. All right, that is the strategy with this. We never actually tried it with both Glissopod, but today you are actually going to see both. So take a look at the rest deck engine. They're just my draw cards. The right amount of energies, right amount of draws, which I feel nice. And uh, I think the only special things I have is some energy lotto, which lets me look at the next seven cards. I need this because I need those DCs very, very badly. So I have something that can also home into those through my deck. Not consistently, but it helps. It certainly helps. And because everybody needs a DC to be able to attack quickly, two turns instead of three, I'm going to need to recycle though with special charge. I shuffle two of my, my DCs back that may have been lost, discarded, and I can keep the fight going. Alright, I think that is it. Both Galissopods, both do very high damage with Lorantis, and they're very easy to set up. This should be a pretty good deck. It is. I very much like this deck. So, uh, here are the matches. Here we go. Galissopod GX match with both Galissopods. Yeah, I'm going to do my remix of... Spear of Justice from Undertales, a nine theme. All right, let's go ahead and charge up the back guy right now, and we're gonna go ahead and play. We played everything we could. We played an Energy. We played a Choice Man. That's likely gonna evolve into an Espeon. You don't ever see Umbreon, unless uh, I actually don't know what element it is. All right, that is it. I have nothing else I want to do. You know, let's go ahead and toss this down. If he plays a two remove, he may remove two both of these. I'm gonna save that. I already have an energy I want in my hand, and this is likely gonna be another end. Unfortunately, we didn't pull any full mantis down, otherwise I would love to evolve one to get that bonus damage out of there. So, DS Frey, what are you really running? I was not paying attention to your deck element. If it's an Eevee, it, you know Espeon's the most popular? It could just be Gardevoir GX, which, all right, we'll take a Gardevoir GX. We technically have the ability to one-shot that. Come on out and play, or drop a, yeah. Nope, it is Glissopop, it is a Garbodor, so good old-fashioned. All right, Joel, so far, let me see, let me think, let me think. Yeah, we can handle it. This should be a fair, easy, fair fight, unless I get a little too, uh, oh, wow, that's no energies on your first turn. That stinks. I don't have any, uh... Okay, I'm gonna need some draws here. I'm gonna have to end, which is gonna help him out. This is where you would really want a Cynthia. Cynthia, I wish you were here, ma'am. Uh, you'll be here next expansion. So, I know his hand is bad. If I bridge that, I may get stuck. I'm gonna go for an end, because if I Sycamore, I lose both Fomantis. And this is definitely going to let him allow to do stuff, so I, I'm kind of scared right now. So we'll go ahead and play everything here that I can. Now that now it's open, and we're going to play N. It's going to be Acerola. Alright, we do have Galissopod, and it looks like a GX Pokemon is available for me to one-shot. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and throw this down right here. This is pretty good. If he dis We'll save that for this. This is the only two removal I have, so I may want to save it for during the turn I need it. Galissopod right now helps me with armor. The, the abilities help me with armor. And when the, when these evolve, that helps me with damage. So I kind of don't really want these to evolve. Although it's fine. It's totally fine. Like, I'm not really stopped up if the ability shutdown comes here. Okay. Half mill deck. It's a half mill deck. Really? Okay, you know, mill, mill, and mill, and uh, Trubbish kind of works out. So if, I've, I've seen that before. Energy evolution. Here we go to es Espeon. That end gave him the energy he needed. It's like, oh, thank you. I didn't have a shuffle. You shuffled it for me. Yeah. We might have to stick a shin the shot up for that. 
Here we go, baby. Combat Galissa bodies really wants that ability shut down right here. Okay. Guzma, gonna bring out that big Galissa bot right away. Why? Oh, you want to hit this with confusion. You want to hit it with confusion because I, I'm gonna slice hurt you pretty hard. So he didn't have a draw supporter then, or maybe he did. So it does no damage to me, luckily. I can ace Sorola, but nobody is really to fight. If only I had an energy right now, this would be okay. So I do want to evolve. Right now, I don't need that bonus damage badly. Actually, I could go for some luck. If I get really lucky, this is a one-shot KO, so scare him right there. I already have enough Galissapods. I don't think I need any more. So in that case, we're going to do this right here. We're going to play Professor Sycamore, see if I can get more energies, Galissapods ready to go. Yeah, I do get another Galissapod. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and just start discarding some cards I don't need right now. I actually think I'll, I may... Can, Lily might be better here. Every Galissapod is up now. Yeah, every Galissapod. Well, too bad we didn't have an energy. Otherwise, I would uh, maybe uh, swap to this in. So, I'm going to try to get lucky. I took no damage, and I should be safe. So, Resolute Claw. I got lucky! One shot that! Yeah! Yeah! You know, you were playing with fire. Okay. Hey! You got so bad! You're like, move over, Zorak Fox. I'm still good. I'm still good here. Battle Age Oilita. Oh, yeah, there's a new movie coming for that. The Fanatic. And Jack Modib. Speaking of anime stuff. So, now. Hey, man. I'm not a little pot GX, but I can still one shot GX Pokemons in the meta, and that's all. That's pretty scary. So, uh, we'll see. We still have the gamble again. We still have the gamble again, so that's not so cool. I may just use a Guzma, hit something in the back there. Maybe this is one of these that has uh, it's gonna evolve into a yeah, Trash Bador. We'll get ya. You're no problem at all. You are no problem. Trash Bador. No, you're not Trash Bador. You're Garbotoxin. Bador. You gotta do get my nicknames right, man. Or we're very relevant. How? How? Two, all the Garbodors are relevant. Is this gonna be a thing? So we're gonna play N. Oh, I, oh, oh, oh. Hey, high five, Guzman. It's like, you know it, man. You know it. And you're playing Glissopot. I am gonna be here to back up my Glissopot, you guys. All right. So this one has a choice, man. I was like, I make sure to turn his energies off. Righteous Edge. Oh, I don't have. Wait, I do have an energy card right here. Well, I could Ace roll it, but uh, no, I don't want to. Alright, so we're going to put the energy right here. I don't have a one-shot. I could, uh, right now I'm still confused, so let's do this. Let's bring the Garble Tox out. I want to be able to hit for full power. And it looks like, uh, no, I can't Coconut Master right now. I can't play any draw supporters because this thing's currently blocking me. So let's use First Impression. Knock that Garble out of here. Don't you ability lock me. I'm going to go ahead and take a pri another prize card. It is a DCE, so... Yeah, these are nice. These are nice. I mean, yeah, you need them to use your final attack quickly and easily. So this looks like a one-shot with a GX if he doesn't do something special. And I have so much hit points that he is not going to get me. So good old, good old Glissapod. Uh, this, 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 this used to be a pretty uh, solid middle deck. I thought it was one of the most, like, balanced. Like, it could take on anything. It's speedy. It's fast. But nowadays, I think I just need a little bit of upgrades and still can get back to that. All right. Did you watch A Cell World too? Yeah, I did a remix of it. I read the manga for quite a bit and got so far, but I don't think there's any new material that I can find on A Cell World. Any fresh, really, really, really fresh one. So it's about uh, you know a large protagonist who becomes in the video game is slimmer and stuff, and uh, you know let's talk. About, let's focus on the game. Tool removal. You took away my choice, man. I can't one shot you anymore. How many toys? I lost one. Is it bugged? Because I have another one right here. It might be bug. Like yesterday, it was bug for me that I couldn't take it out. So right now he's up. I gotta. Ch Let's see. What do I want to do? Oh, I still got the one shot on him. I'm just gonna ace the roller, send the regular Galissapod out, and that's gonna be that. So I don't think he has anything to stop. Well, if, you, if you're watching my stream, Diaz, you should play N. You should definitely play N right there. Berserk. Ooh, there's no weak in the Pokemon in the back. So oh my gosh, another nice, nice, nice combo. Do this right here. 
He should have been able to remove it. I got bugged yesterday, so I'm not sure if he was bugged or not. I'm going to say yes, probably. Because I would have taken away the choice, man, unless it was uh, hidden here. So we're going to one-shot another one. 200 damage. I actually forgot that I had the 20 damage bonus. I was thinking choice man was enough. We have Guzmas. We have Acerolas. We have both Glissopods here. And we have the damage bonus. This is a very nice, sweet combo. Still need to watch No Game No Life. It's uh, the Fanatic. It's a good one. Unfortunately, it didn't have a finish. Yeah. One last prize cards. I can't finish it just yet, so let's see. I need this right here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need this more KO. Since you don't actually have a rich you don't have actually a KO potential. Uh in case I did something wrong, I'm just gonna go ahead and use Resolute Claw. Get that KO right there. And that is gonna be that. Yeah, I think I felt like a pretty strong advantage. Uh, like, my setup has a strong advantage over that one right there. I could easily one-shot his GX Pokemons, no problem. Garbodor, whatever. Whatever, we combo with Galissapod and we just knock it out. Alright, so... Pretty solid, does it sound? It looks pretty solid, doesn't it? Okay, okay. To another Galissapod match. I am gonna play my... Oh, today's Twitch giveaway winner is the Cheese 103. So the cheese, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna get some music up and play my remix of Jump Up Superstar from Super Mario Odyssey. We're gonna hit me opponent and no basic Pokemon. So he needs to reshuffle. This has a free retreat, and this belongs in the bench no matter what. Alright, so take a look here. These are three very useful cards that I don't want to discard. So I will open up with either Lily, Bridget, or uh or uh, N. So take a look right here. It is Zora Arcalisopod. Look at this, it looks like Tord's deck version. Okay, so I played this before. I'll be looking forward to this. Which Glissopod's better, the, this version or that version? Or we'll just want to see how well they can perform against each other. Alright, so given my choices, if I open them with Lily, let's see. I could just end right now. I could just... Oh, no, I can't end. No, don't start my bench. This is not, I'm not a game that's not started. Okay, good, good, good. This right here. I really want an energy. I really want any kind of energy so I'm able to use my full attack next turn. So we're going to go ahead and put this right here. If I Lily right now, I'm not going to get too much value. I get four more cards, and I lose up a Coconut Master. And these I'll need later. So I'm going to go ahead and just go for an end right now. You know, hope my selection's better. At least an energy card is all I want. Nice. Many energy cards. Now, let me see. What did Tord's deck have? This is a little dangerous to throw out right at the start. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave this right here. No, actually, the front. You can go ahead and come down, too. This is no thing here. You have plenty of hit points. You have 70 hit points. I'm going to end my turn right there. I think that's good. We're good. We're safe. We're ready to go. I know. Uh, I'm just trying to think back. Oh, what, what was that? that? They're an enhanced hammer. So we gotta save it. We gotta not let them just take it back for free. That would not be good for me. No, 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 no. no. Uh, it is very valuable. So I'm um, going go ahead over here. Take a look at this. Cap Crunk. Captain Crunk cereal. Oh, yeah. Necrovirus. I think you should use my points. Do you think I should use my points to play Donald? You can do whatever you like. Okay, so focusing. Yeah, you can use your if you found out how to use your Twitch uh, points, stream points. Just you can uh, get some prizes, stream related prizes. So focusing back, what are, what is he doing? Coconut Master, that is uh, going to be Bridget. Opening with Bridget, Zorark Galissapod. This is where I kind of I really wish I had a Shana. I cannot afford to lose this. I know there are enhanced hammers in that deck. If that is just the exact copy, and you would put Enhanced Hammers in that deck. Glissapod, Zoroarks, yep. So in that case, let's just get out of the choice, man. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll save. Right now, let's just go, it's just good, uh, so we don't have to worry. Alright, I'm going to use this to maybe bait out, oh, he has tons of two removals, but that's okay. We'll put this right here. We're going to get lucky right now. I'm going to use Instruct. Is Professor Sycamore. This will slow him down if I play this, but I also will be vulnerable to any, you know, too many energy discards throughout the game. 
This is scary. That's okay. I'm going to be very greedy. I'm going to be greedy. I may regret losing that card later. All right, we do get a choice, man. I would. Uh, I'm gonna save that right now. I'm not sure which glyph spot I want right now. I think that I want the GX one. Or well, I could go for the regular one. Either one is okay. I, the GX one's already in my hand, so I'll play that. I do want to throw this card away afterwards. So we'll wait a bit. Okay, I'm gonna use Armor Press. I get the first prize cards. That's just the advantage of being, being able to go first. You get to evolve first, you get to attack. Well, I don't get to really attack first, but there we go. First blood, just like in League of Legends. Oh, you need to go into five game files. No, nope. and and uh, yeah, the patch. I think they're. Uh, I think they're the. Oh yeah, enhanced hammer. We knew that. We knew that was coming. And okay, so he gets a nice fresh six hands. That's why I had to save that because there are like uh, two, three enhanced hammers in that deck. All right, take a look right here. We have Galissapods. Tons of uh, tons of. Uh, I think I actually think there are very few tools in this deck. Na, 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 na. Choice man. Let's see how much damage can I do. I actually need to evolve another Lorantis if I do want to one-shot this. So, all right, puzzle of time. Is this a double puzzle of time or a single puzzle of time? Maybe he's trying to land. No, he has. No, no, he can. He's able to use the trade. So you can line up those cards. Well, we'll, we'll and put the card that you want, don't want in the back. All right, one puzzle of time has gone away. This spot's gonna. This is gonna sting this spot quite a bit. So what am I going to do? I have a way to reset. I kind of want to have a DC uh, and just be able to use my GX here. But my GX isn't going to get a KO just yet. Riot is beating plenty of bench space. He has plenty of draws. We uh, What do we do? What do we do? We do want this Fomantis down. This is going to have a free retreat. All right. I don't have an Acerola. I don't want to waste this right here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to be right back after this too. So I have to catch up. This is going to be weird that I have to get out and leave, but I've got to. I'll go ahead and try to take down another Zorark right here. I think that's the best way to use my cards right now. So we're going to use First Impression, take this out, and be right back really, really quick. Is that, this is gonna be weird. I'll just leave his matches for a minute. One second. What's happening so far? These will take my Galissapod, and we're gonna have to try to last each other. All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, what are you guys are saying? Nope, 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 nothing. We're good. We're good. Trade Galissapod is down for free. All right. Now it's worrisome if there's gonna be some Acerolas and the hide in here, so I had to give that up. I already took two prize cards at the start. And this is where I kind of, I am very glad I do have Acerolos. Okay, you have a free retreat right now. That's one of my GX ones. That's a little too many cards in your hands. But if I end, I lose, I don't get as many draws. Here we go. We'll go ahead and play this right now. Take that choice band away from you. I'm in desperate need of cards right now, so I just have to let him have those right there. There we go. That's good. That's good. All right. 
go ahead and play your super art right now. I need this back. I'm not sure if I want really want the Wimpod. I may need to pull a draw supporter somewhere or some sort of supporter next turn. Pull an energy card as well. I'm not sure if I have enough Wimpods to be able to uh, you know, fight the last remaining battles. Okay. Here we go. They're all valuable, man. They're all valuable, valuable cards. They're all valuable. Oh. I think I have to take this this one off. It's a pain. Alright, this is the only card that can possibly attack right now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this right here. We're gonna go ahead, retreat, and slap this guard, slap this uh, Zorar. Here we go, slap you, bam! 170 damage. All right, we'll finish you off later, probably, probably. So with that many cards in hands, is hands, I am somewhat intimidated right now. Okay. Yeah, the Pokemon, Pokemon client kind of crashes to now and then. I know some of you guys have talked about that. It is kind of lame. All right, let's see, what does he have? What I'm more of, most afraid of is the Acerola. Yeah, Acerola is going to be able to heal that. I'm not going to be able to finish that off. And, oh yeah, that's looking for... Yeah, you're going to land that. Probably. Likely. So we do have the same... We are able to do the same thing, too. Acerola, yep. So with a full bench line, we need to, you know, kind of mirror that combo. Field Blower takes away my... Uh, let's see. Probably the Choice Man. The Choice Man doesn't matter too... Yeah, yeah, it makes a difference. How many choice bands have I lost so far? That looks like the first one, actually, so not too bad. Not too bad. I know there could be a bunch of enhanced hammers here, and this is like, ah, oh, man, I don't have deck space for enhanced hammers. I have full mances. It's okay. So he's like, uh, the float stones are more valuable. Zero. Oh, okay. I guess it does stop me from doing a combo. And he is going to have, uh, let's see, he's going to have something here that I don't like. Everything up is up. I, the by not having a float zone, I guess I can't, I can't use my uh, Acerola combo. Did he know that, or does he know I had that? That's uh, we'll see. All right, what do I have here? I don't have much I can do. I don't want to give another prize card right now. Hang on. Can I retreat somehow? Oh, I can't GX. I can't even Guzma back there because the float zone got was taken away. We're gonna have to trade. Banana Master, you're gonna have to go up front for now. I'll place this right here. Glissopod, you can go ahead and show up so you don't uh, automatically die. I'll place this up right now. And I'll let it be. That's all I can do. Yeah, the float solos were taken out of the way, so otherwise, I would have done something maybe more drastic, more, more, more rebunctious. Uh, no, rebunctious. I forgot what that word meant. That word just came out. All right, so I think that's the best move I can do. He is holding a lot of tools, a lot of tools. The whole bench is full. The Zora arcs are all there. Yeah. So, we'll let it be. We'll see what he does. He can't, uh, I, right now he has to play Acerola or, uh, he can't play Acerola, it has to be a Guzma. Guzma for something, something here. They all have these CEs. We do not have any enhanced hammers. Guzma gonna bring out the Pokemon that gives me bonus damage, okay. All right then. Let me see. What other ways I have to do a lot of damage? I have this guy. I have this guy right here. The only way Zoroark, you don't have enough bench space for that. 
All right, so we may let's see. Right is beating poor, poor, poor Fulmantis. All right, okay. So this allows me to set up for something I have. Okay, Wimpod, Fulmantis, baby Fulmantis, you go up. We're gonna put this on you. We're gonna need to evolve you for later. I think you need to fight, but I don't know how fast soon you can fight. That's uh, that's that's kind of worrying. All right, Guzma, Guzma, bring out the coconut master. Bring this out right here. All right, I need some more card pulls. Let's do this. Fomantis, baby Fomantis. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can evolve you. I can use some big giant bursts of damage if I draw really, really, really nice cards. So let's do this. Let's use Crossing Cut Chi X. That's the only way I can get a one shot that will make this valuable. And Banana Master, I'll let you take the hit. I may, you may regret that, Donald. Don't you want Fomantis? But Fomantis may get me a, like a one shot on this. Like if I land the perfect nicest, nicest things, then I may be able to get the that out. So Banana Master, you you go up there. You go up there. Evil Sodas. And if he ends, I guess this could be bad. Totally, totally. I have a, still a fresh, fresh Galissapod that's out here. Enhance hammers. I know you're using that same deck, deck necklace. So that I don't remember if there was three in hammers or just two. But him holding there, I was like, yeah, he had to have that. You have to have that. So I discarded this at the start, unfortunately, to Sycamore. That's not gonna come back. That feels gonna bad. Miss something. Why not send out the other Wimpod and evolve it? Uh, I'm, uh I don't see that. I don't see that. I could, yeah, I could. I knew he had an enhanced hammer, but now at least I have this to maybe pull uh, pull a combo up. So, fresh Glistopod. I'm close, he just needs one GX Pokemon to finish this. I need to pull DC and evolve both these things. I'm gonna end. Oh, he tricked my hand. And now I won't have Banana Master to draw, so I gotta get lucky. Boo. Boo. Boo, trade. I don't have any of my pulls. Maybe I really should have kept this in the back. So, I may, I may just burn out. Yeah. I may just burn out. I'm kind of scared right now. I'm kind of scared. So we need a nice, some nice top decks since we just traded off our Banana Master. It was uh, still if they can evolve. If I'm still, they evolve twice, once, one more can evolve, and we are awesome. Maybe we should have sent out the Glissopod. Yeah, that thing was much tankier. It wouldn't have died at all. Oh, I kind of regret. I regret that. I regret that. Okay. We do get a regular energy up. I should have sent that baby Glissopod out, and so I could have kept my uh, Banana Master. Didn't have to worry about that. All right, gonna wait for one more good top deck. So first impression, all I have is this to do. Well, 80 damage still kind of stings. So, yeah. All right. Just let it be. I may have short out. <laughs> I don't got any cards left. I don't have these nice uh, banana. Banana master would have been nice, but I gave him away instead of Galissapod. Galissapod was only one prize card and was uh, still alive. So yeah, maybe Tank Pad might have been hot better in hindsight. I might, he might have been still alive to been pull some cards for me. So uh, let's see, what we, how much damage do we do with like a hundred? Then we would do a lot. We would do quite a lot of damage. So I need a nice top deck. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose this. But that's okay. This is a good fight. Take away that. No, I'm still holding another one. Ultra Ball. Don't need those Glissabots anymore. He's drawn up so many cards with this. So it's if Donald can top deck. If Donald top deck. It's gonna be awesome. If not, it's okay. We did pretty. We did pretty good against this. Okay. He damages it half. Dad, do not despair. Well, he he may have uh you know be able to switch, uh switch, run his Pokemon away, and we're not gonna have uh the combo. So yeah, we do have enough damage to thread these. It's just in hindsight, that's okay. We under we know. You know it. You know it. Okay. Let it be. How much would this do? Armor press would, you know, Acerola? Oh, he Acerola me. All right. Can you top deck this, Donald? Can you top deck this? I don't think so. You know that. 
Dun dun dun. We have one sycamore. Dun 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 dun. Na 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 na. Right is beating 150 damage. Okay. If only Banana Master was here with that. What do I have? I got nothing. I lost my Banana Masters for fools. So here we go. We're gonna do first impression because we don't have the cards, right cards to one shot this here. So all right, cheese. Well played. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And there it goes. So this time around, we fell to the Tord's Glissopod. Can we beat him if we played again? I think so. I think I, I think I had a chance there. I, uh, hindsight, I thought uh, that was the that Banana Master may may have changed the course of the game there. I, like, I thought I thought I about preserving my that Glissopod because he had a lot of damage. But you know, time wise and the amount of cards I had in my hand, the end there, yeah, yeah, I have to let it be. I'll have to let it be. Okay, so that is that. And welcome to another Glissopod GX match. Well, with, with the regular Glissopod, this is against Greninja, so if I do weakness damage to Greninja, it should... Well, it's, well, we will see. We will see. Yeah, there are those Greninja breaks. Not a good matchup for him. He's not hiding any Greninja. I don't think you can hide any Greninjas in your chair here, so... Oh, Donald, that's... Oh, I'm gonna play my remix of Breakbeat Mark from... This is uh, Sora Online's movie, Ordinal Scale. And oh no! Well, I have an extra card, so it seems. Uh, boo! This setup is pretty nice. Very, very, very nice. So let's see. I don't want to really land these now, but I'm afraid if I don't land the card, wow! If you know, with a bad start, this could be pretty bad. So let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and risk an end right now. And it's like, oh, thanks for giving me some free cards. No energies. Hang on, I did pull the energy lotto. That is energies. Okay, so no retreats. What we what's there? So we really want an energy on our first turn. So let's do that. No energies. Never mind. I've been betrayed. I'll let it be. Slow start. So if he gets a big lead on me, that could be uh, that could be quite traumatic. And this is where the baby Glissopod doesn't come out as handy because it's all basics. Evil soda. Yep, first one's gonna come out, and that means, wait, he filled up a lot of his bench space, so he means to just straight evolve them. By the way, how, how do you get so many of these ones? Yeah, straight evolution, I don't need to use my, uh, I don't need to use my water duplicates, I can just do it the regular way. Sword Online is the best, then the end happened, yeah. And this is what, we can play Sycamore next. And if it leads to the very nice things, then it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Yeah, I just... You're keeping, uh, yeah, yeah, evil soda, wow! It's like, no, uh, you know, I've got lots of nice trainers. I don't need to use the Kagabushi no Chutsu system. That's just, you know, what desperate Greninjas use. And it's gonna have Tapu Fini as well. Oh, so he didn't want to retreat and use this because, you know, he probably not gonna only gonna get one and not enough energies to attack. So at this point, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and discard those. I don't want to fill my bench space up with this right here. Alright, we have enough whip odds. The card that we need right now is this guy right here. And I don't have a retreat in my in my uh, deck right now. I do, but I don't want to pay that up. Right, I don't want to pay that up. Alright, I have a super rod, right? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna let it be. Hi, Yellow Swallow! Wait, is it the Yellow Swallow? I think it is the Yellow Swallow. Thank you. Hi, man. How you doing? Oh, thanks for stopping by. Rest in peace. Wonderful hands being shuffled away. Wonderful. Here can the Greninjas are all up. Hidden safely in the back. Gonna go and start the pressure up. Alright, so Shadow Striking, you cannot play any, uh, any, 
any of uh, any uh, supporters right now. I mean, uh, not supporters. All right, I don't see any GX Pokemon. I do see GX Pokemon, so I'll take it back. Yeah, GX Pokemon, I do want a one shot. This is a threat bigger than anything else. So, baby Glissapod, as long as I can retreat it, I'm okay. All right. Ultra Ball. We're going against Greninja right now. I guess if I have to discard something, these are more valuable. Sorry, Choice Man. You're big, but I just need this now much more immediately. All right. Abilities are shut down, so don't play anything with ability. Get something to evolve your Pokemon. Right now, Baby Glissapod, like I said, it's just not useful. This guy is, you know, he can do much more. He can do the right damage to get that uh, Greninja out. Right now, I'm kind of feeling scared. So I'll go ahead and play this right here. And in order to get a one shot on this, I have to use my second attack right now. So I'm going to go ahead and play end right here. And shuffle. You got to get me some retreats. No, you don't want to get me any retreats. So this is a slow start for me. Slower, much, much slower than usual. So I'm gonna have to let it go. No, oh, so he may take a free Lele, but if all right now I don't feel I don't feel guilty. I felt guilty with the <laughs> grass. Uh oh, he may take it all. You know, Sills. I see you're gonna beat up some frogs. I'm trying to, but I'm kind of scared right now that he had uh, he had like the the big setup that he wanted. So the GX is up. Uh, he'll take. Oh man, yeah. Everything, everything's coming together for this guy. Water sure can be able to hit that Glissopod. And he'll be able to hit, finish off my, uh, my, uh, Coconut Master because I couldn't get any retreats. So Moonlight Slash. This is the time he's gonna go for full damage, knock it out, get a KO. And he'll be able to keep the full entire evolution line too, so... Scary, man. He's got a nice knife. You got, you got very nice. What do we do? So, abilities are actually open. This my no, I got a Galisopod. I can't let you keep two Greninjas. Two Greninjas, a little too deadly. That unhealthy uh, Galisopod might not be the one I need right now. That's all I can do right here. I'm gonna Ultra Ball this later because that's not so useful. There's nothing to bring uh, out with this. So let's go ahead and take out the first Greninja. Abuse our weakness damage there. 280 damage. Take a prize card. Hey, you took a free Lele. It wasn't, uh, he had time to set up, but he gets to keep everything because of that splash on chain right there. You have a KO. You gave Lele away for free. You had a KO in Greninja because of weakness. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. I could have played energy to retreat it. Played energy to retreat it, send out the Glissopod. And that, that would have been enough. Or maybe. I was just looking for a float zone. I couldn't see that right there. Dude, lucky babe, big time. Oh no, you're gonna try to send this back up? Boo, Tapu Storm GX. All right. Well, we'll send this out. We're gonna try to Glissopod. We're gonna try to go and Guzma again, because, oh yeah. We're gonna Guzma that Greninja, abuse our weakness damage here. And you know, it wouldn't be a bad time. Uh, let's go ahead and charge you up right now. How much damage she can burst? She can't burst me. First impression. Take that. Alright, I'll take this right here. Goodbye, all Greninjas. And now, now the pressure is starting to go away now that we KO those Greninjas. He did not have a splash energy on this time. This time around. He put the splash energy on this one. So, fresh Greninja up. And. Uh oh. Uh oh. Espeon! Woo! Yeah, that's the card that, that can... Totally forgot about that. Totally, totally, totally. So, we still have... We are able to knock this out. We need to set up another one, because he's fixing to go pretty darn soon. Energy's come back. Yeah, but we'll be able to one-shot this. He'll hurt me significantly, but not enough to... We took the brakes now. We took the brakes. And having easy KO on this is, is an advantage. It's starting to kick in. Wait, and Ray Jam, you're waiting for N to rotate! It's not necessary. Oh, sting! 80 damage. Okay, so what does Donald do? Set up another Glissopod. All right, this is the only way I can get a KO on that front Greninja. I think this is a safe time to play Bridget. You know, fill up the rest of my bench right now. They're only. These are the only choices. I can get another. Yeah, these are the only choices I have. 
We'll put a float stone on you. I think you should be safe to everybody. So I won't mind sending you up front. I'm thinking about holding the float stone in my hand or not, but nah, it's okay. We're not going to Ultra Ball for that draw. First of all, are we? Well, I kind of need everything. I want to see what else I draw. Be, be a little, uh... Yeah, be, 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 be uh, good with this. No, no, no. Do it. Put it in the back of the list about your week. Steal an extra card. No, he did Shadow Stitching. The Armor Press. Get the KO on this. Weakness. We could have GX'd, but I left it up front. We could have GX'd, and I still may need it for one of these guys back here. Who knows? This guy may need a GX. Instead of using it right now. So if I GX, I would have been able to retreat immediately. And with this, he's going for D Evolution. Oh, okay. So that means. Wait, that means that he's only going to get one prize card instead of two. So that's potentially. That is a very, very good thing. Oh, my free retreat stuff. So we need another, let's see, a float stone. We need another float stone. Luckily, I have I, I needed them much earlier in the game start, but they're not here. Then that means they're still in my deck. Goodbye, Wimpot. That's only one prize card though, instead of potentially two. He was so weak enough that you could get two prize cards, so that's yeah, that's convenient. Alright, you go ahead and come up. I have oh man, I have another well yeah. I get to keep this card because he did unevolved it. So, okay, you evolve it again. I don't want to leave this up front, of course. Or maybe I do want to leave it up front. Just attack it. Slap it. You know, I'm not, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm kind of just worried about my luck here. I don't know if I'm going to pull that float stone or not. If I do, if I, it's just 20 damage, right? You're just giving up 20 damage. There's no reason to risk evolving that front one. You're risking 20 damage. That is nothing. Sycamore. You did pull a float stone. And then this is, uh, oh, I could have evolved this too. It may be useful, but the float stone right here lowers his damage to get the one shots on GXs. So I'll send this up right now. I could evolve both of them. It's a Greninja deck, isn't it? It's a Greninja deck. So this is where I... Yeah, yeah poor me. Baby, baby one. I don't know, you're just not good against... You're just not... Uh, that's just not just your, your moment here. I'm going to use first impression. Get this to 140 damage in here. Evolve the back one. Evolve the back one, says chat. Vengeful friends like, that's what you do. Yeah, if you evolve the front one, you just only get 30 damage. That is nothing, man. He did you a favor. Wimpot has no retreat cost now? It does. It does have a retreat cost after the first turn. So Greninja's out. Giant Shuriken. 60 damage. Ow. And now he still has his regular attack. He can do Shadow Stitching or any of the other moves. All right, so we uh, we need a DCE. Take a look at the DCEs I've spent so far. It is only one. So they're all at the back of my deck. That's kind of good and bad at the same time. All right, we also have, uh, we also, oh no, all the Coconut Masters are gone. All of them are gone, so I thought I was like, I'm gonna get a Coconut Master out. Yeah, things are gonna be good, but no. And there are no more Wind Pods as well. well it's in, the, in here. No, there is one more Wind Pod. Uh, do, I, do we have the prize cards to actually get that up? No, we don't. We totally don't. All right, Evil Soda. One, one, another, one last frog. Maybe another frog might come out. So we do have one shots if we can get the, do this. All right, he's going for he he went for shadow stitching. Or okay, we have Guzma. Good. Put this right here. I want my I want my prize guards, man. Can he knock this off? Not with a little bit of extra help. Here we go. First impression. Take this. One hundred and forty damage. Sweet. Two more prize guards. So as long as we take another frog out, we are good. Baby Glistapod, I have a little bit more GX Pokemon. So actually, if I could have set you up, uh, didn't need, you know, had some time, then I would definitely take do that to get the one shots back there. No stitching. He did not stitch. All right, he just did regular damage. He just did the regular 60. Oh, because he really wanted to keep the energy sword. Yeah, yeah. So he get to keep all the cards back or something. 
Yeah, yeah. So we could keep the splash energy. Trying to trying to throw energies here. Smart, smart. And we only have one card left. That's okay. Banana Master says, I got you, buddy. I got you, bro. Hey. So I'll be able to knock this out. So he knows if I retreat into this, that'll get the KO. And that's just lame. It's like weakness damage. You had a big advantage. I did. I had a weakness damage here. So he knows what he's doing. He's going to get Tapu Finney out. Uh, we don't have a one-shot. Yeah, we do. We have a one-shot. We have we have Lorantis here. Don't forget about Lorantis. So that means, yeah, we just put this on here. We GX. Oh. What move is he doing? He's going to run away. Aqua Ring. You want to stay up front? Yeah, you are going to stay up front. All right. So that is it. Anything wrong? I don't think so. Crosscut GX. Send Banana Master out. I was like, hi, I'm going to the front. Laurentis, that damage bonus makes a difference. It still makes a meaningful difference in the game. So Barry Master, you know you are very competitive with Barry Master for that slot. Very, very much so. So don't say, uh, yeah, you'd be a good, nice underdog around here. I like this. I like this. Well. Looks like you reached the end. Thank you. Congratulations. It is time we rate this deck. So, Laurentis. I don't, I don't think it's about you. You're helping, but this is about this guy's deck. Galissapod, what is your unique trait? Your value. Actually, there's a lot of value, but I think one of the best things is you are very energy efficient in your attacks. They're giving you one hit KOs through one energy, one DC for a lot of your attacks. Yes, you may a little bit need a little bit of help here, but it's pretty easy. It's not like Charizard with about five energies cost, three energy this card. This these attacks are one of the best in the games. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. So, uh it's good. I wish you know there are a lot more cards like this, like uh Drop on GX. Damage, I'm gonna give you a five out of five as well. Uh I said they a little pod because he can one shot, chain one shot GX Pokemons. Stage 1 GX Pokemons. They are common. He can do it. So therefore, I will give you a 5 out of 5. Mm -hmm. You can chain 220 damage over and over. Good. Uh, setup. I'm going to give this yeah, 4.5. Yeah. Forest normal. 0.5 is a little bit extra because look at this. It's stage 1. It's up with DCEs. It's really, 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 really fast. So you will not have any trouble setting this up. At least, at the very least, you'll be able to attack with first impression. If all goes, you know, all goes something that goes wrong, you could just use Guzma, Acerola. I am not concerned about setting up with this deck at all. So I'm going to give it a little bit extra there. Defense! We're going to give it a little bit extra too because of Acerola. Oh, I got to really think about what a 5 out of 5 is because this could technically could do that. If you can use all three Acerolas, juggle this Glissopod, you cheating, you're cheating prize cards. Because your opponent must take more prize cards to win. You're healing away to damage. You have both defense and offense on your side. It's pretty good. So, the rating, I will give this a 4.5. I still think uh, the, that Lycanroc belongs, sits in the 5 out of 5 spot. But this is excellent. I really, really, really like this. I still think there are ways I can tune it to make it even faster, more reliable. You know, we just have to play with it, tweak with it. So, upgrades will be minor tweaks. And the weakness, is there any weakness to this deck other than that they're all weak to fire, which is a given weakness? They really need the DCs. They really, really, because three turns is kind of slow. But DCs do unlock this power, like absolutely this one. This guy, not so much. You can just use grass energy. So that's why, that's, that's part of the reliability there. You probably should get that. Actually, yeah, we don't have that rating anymore, but it's very reliable. So overall, everything added together, the damage, the defense, the setup is really good in all categories with we'll Galissapod. This is very good. Very, very good. Uh, very, 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 very good. So I, I'm going to... I got my chips behind this one. I think one thing that also is you need the Laurentis to hit those magic numbers. So that may be part of the equation too with the weakness part. Laurentis makes the magic happen. Okay, so that is it for Glistlebot. I really like this. I do, and I'm going to move it on to... Well, we got to see uh, what's up for next time. So the thing is, as of today, I want to see if I can do uh, this Pokemon. This is going to be next. I made my mind. Where is it? K 
can't think of it. It's a dragon Pokemon. Noivern, there you are. Noivern GX. I didn't really like him the first time around. But you know, he has an item lock. And I hate item lock decks, but I'm gonna figure... I think I may find out... Might know a way to make it work. So Noivern GX, you are going to be up for tomorrow. Which at this time, I haven't tried yet. Yeah. Even though uh, you've been slacking over Christmas holidays, Donald. Okay, so that is it. All right, time to wrap this up. Please, totally like, subscribe, because you know you want to see Noiver and Ann more videos just like this and a new expansion. Follow me on social media. I will give you clues when new things are happening. When I'm streaming, uh, when the new videos are coming out, my Discord link is right above my head, as well as the ceiling is above my head as well. So you can find me and chat me on the chat with me on there. Remixes can be found on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. If you really like these ones you're listening to, they are there. I added new ones back in November, and then February is when I'm adding the next ones. So, it's almost the new year. Okay, so that is it for now. I do have other channels which I do work on. The links are in the below. So, closing it for now, thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchals. I will see you guys next time for Neuburn GX. Thank you. Bye-bye.